Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this time it's week 38 of the BOTB Dream Car Competition. Now, there's something interesting in this uh, picture for this week's competition. Um, I was looking at it for some time uh, earlier this morning and I noticed that whilst they obviously Photoshop out where the ball is from the original picture, um, it, it doesn't look like they've done a very good job um, from what I can see. Um, so we'll have a wee look at that. Uh, before we um, get into that, let's take a look um, at the results for week 36 and we'll see um, how the judges arrived um, at the average. So well done to uh, Glenn Shrub, who won a Cupra Ateca uh, VZ3. Um, I haven't seen one of them before. Um, looks pretty smart all the same. Uh, some nice lines on that. Uh, well done, mate. Plus £30,000. And this is my closest red. Um, I actually played an extra ticket. Uh, so you can see I put one down here, down below, just to cover my uh, um, chances. And, you know, I thought maybe... Um, I was too high, uh, but clearly not high enough. Um, so let's get into the judges' uh, um, decision and uh, see how they arrived at the average. So this picture that you're looking at here uh, shows um, quite a big spread, um, but the red uh, cross down below um, was from uh, Kieran Fitzgibbon and he actually uh, or the, the panel decided to remove this uh, from uh, all of the uh, crosses so they only went with the seven above here so if we have a look at the other picture this is what they went with um, so what that means is it actually pulls the average up. So it got me wondering, you know, if they had left uh, Kieran Fitzgibbons in uh, down below, it would have pulled the average down roughly to where my cross was. So well done, guys. <laughs> Thanks for that. Anyway, uh, let's get into this week's competition. Uh, like I said, I've had a quick look. And there's something surprising um, in the original picture. So for um, this week, uh, they're going with the two-car option again. So you can win two cars uh, or take the cash, of course, cash alternative. Um, so I'm quite interested in this. Um, so I am going to go for this one here, the Kia Picanto and the AMG. So I'm going to take two tickets, and I've already selected uh, a free ticket. Uh, so let's jump straight in. Okay, now I'm going to show you another picture, and tell me what you think. Can you see that? Okay, let me show you without uh, that image placed over it. Doesn't it look? <laughs> doesn't it look like that's where the ball originally was, and they've made a bad job? of photoshopping it out. It does to me. What do you think? Maybe uh, I'm just reading too much into it. Anyway, it doesn't matter because um, the judges uh, probably won't see that and they'll put their crosses somewhere else. <laughs> so um, anyway, let's draw some crosses, uh, some lines, and we'll just draw the lines across there and put a cross there and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got one, two, three players. Now, this guy here at the left-hand side, um, we, we can't take account of him. Uh, but if we look at the eyes on the other players, you can only see one eye here on this guy. Uh, we can see both eyes, mostly white eyes on this guy. You can't really see the pupil. So it's going to be quite tricky. But if we draw some lines where that ball or where that 
where that ghost ghost ball is. We can have a wee look and see what it would look like if the ball was actually there. So it would look like something along these lines, and if I was to put a cross there uh, on that intersection, that is actually quite realistic. You know, the ball in the original photograph, you know, with the ball in it, it could be there uh, because this guy is looking up here. This guy's looking across. Uh, I'm just wondering if the judges will go there though not too sure uh, but it could well be there in my opinion but when I first looked at this picture I didn't actually notice this circular shape this sort of blurred shape I mean it, it might be nothing it might just be me looking at something that's not actually there um, not sure but when I first actually um, looked at this, uh, let me just hide these again. When I, f I quickly drew some lines just to check it out, and I was coming in something like something like this, and this guy wasn't looking up as steep as that, more like that. So, like I say, when I had a look at it this morning, um, it looked like in this position. Uh, I think this guy looks like he's looking higher. You know, the guy in the, uh, the blue and the uh, purple shirt. Um, to me, it looks like he's looking higher. So maybe uh, this, this sort of blurred image that I'm seeing here, I might just be nothing, guys. But I thought it was interesting um, because obviously they have to do a Photoshop to remove the ball from the original photograph. Now, I don't know how they would do that, but uh, anyway, <laughs> just something I noticed and I thought, hello. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in uh, the target and I'm going to put it over each of these and see what it looks like. So I need to edit the page, uh, the 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 code for the page. Okay, so I'll just quickly do that. Uh, remove this part of the code uh, for the header. And that'll allow us to um, bring in the target. Okay, so if I put it there, sit back and take a look at it. Looks good. That's my original thoughts. If I put it where uh, the blurred part of the picture is, it also looks good. <laughs> uh, I'm in a quandary here, um, but I don't know. I don't think the judges will notice that and think that's where the ball is. But one thing I would say, uh, looking at the guy in the yellow, I think um, he's actually looking a bit uh, steeper. Um, so I think he is looking in that line, which would mean um, if I just bring these lines back in, uh, it would mean that the ball would probably be over there somewhere. Uh, quickly bring the target in one more time. Hide the lines. Uh, and it looks something like that. Mm. Doesn't look too bad. I think I'm going to go with that and, and, and ignore the, uh, the ghost ball <laughs> or the blood part of the image. Um, I don't think that will come into play. So... Let me just quickly remove the target. I'm going to reposition these two crosses. 
So the first one, um, what's the first one? Ah, uh, here, okay. This one, I'm just going to put them close uh, together because, um, you know, if you win, if you're, if you're lucky enough to win BOTB uh, and someone else gets the same coordinates as you, what they do is they go to the next closest ticket. So if somebody only has one ticket, um, I don't know, I'm guessing they would go to the next closest one uh, on the other um, competitor or uh, person that's playing uh, got the right coordinates. So there we go, guys. I'll put the coordinates on the screen. Uh, please use them as a reference only. I don't want to um, influence you in the wrong way. <clears throat> but this is what I'm going for. And uh, good luck. Cheers.